Hey guys, it's Caitlin. I am packing to go away for next week and while I was at it, I thought I'd give you guys some travel tips, some packing tips, just because I get questions about this a lot. My friends who know me know that I never check a bag. I'm very OCD when it comes to packing and traveling um, and a lot of that comes from in my old job. I used to have to travel all the time for work. A lot of it was international travel, um, so I always had to be super mobile. So for example, like sometimes when I was going away, I didn't know how many weeks I was going to be away. And when I was in Europe, I had to be very mobile to get from town to town because I was taking the train a lot, so I didn't want to have a lot of luggage with me. I, I physically couldn't have a lot of luggage with me. So I learned, hi Heather, <laughs> I learned how to condense everything I pack into just my carry-on suitcase that you can see behind me and a backpack and I will go through just some of my, my top six tips I came up with that I think will help you too. Now keep in mind, I will tell you that this strategy doesn't necessarily work for shorter weekend trips. I tend to pack the same amount of stuff when I'm going away for a weekend because you need a lot of that just in case stuff and you need the same just in case stuff if you're going away for a couple days or for a couple weeks. So this applies more to if you're traveling for a week or so but I will tell you that I have packed for three week trips to Europe using just this carry-on bag and my backpack. And that included having to have surgical demo instruments with me and work stuff that was kind of heavy. So um, I consider myself kind of a pro in this subject. And so I always have people asking me how I do that. And it's not just me, I've taught it to other people. Um, when my friend Sora and I went to London a couple years ago, I told her I didn't want her checking a bag either because I didn't want to get caught up in customs. I didn't want to have to wait for a bag anywhere. Um, so uh, she didn't believe me that she could do it. But now she has been converted and she tells people the same techniques. So first technique I want to start with, this one's kind of a pain, but I always plan my outfits in advance. So I don't really have anything extra. Like I said, a few just in case things, but I know what I'm going to wear each day. And the other thing that's really cool about that technique is that it, it forces you to run through your itinerary and make sure you're not missing anything. So it really cuts down on a lot of the extra, but then it, it makes you go through, okay, what am I going to be doing Tuesday? What am I going to be doing Wednesday? And it helps make sure you're packed for all that. So the other thing that I do when I'm planning my outfits each day is I decide if I want to go black based or brown based, and that has a lot to do with what shoes I'm going to bring. So for example, most of the clothes I wear are black based, so you might need one pair of black boots, but I certainly don't want to bring this bulky pair of brown boots just for one outfit. So decide what kind of color scheme you're going to go with. I have a lot of black stuff, so I always travel only black shoes, black based. Um, if it's a work trip, black based work clothes, it just makes things easier because then you don't need different colored jackets or shoes for different color, um, different color based outfit. So just decide on that in advance, stick with that and plan your outfits for each day. So tip number two is to cut where you can. So I have found that really small differences can make a huge difference when you're packing and you're trying to get everything in. So I'll give you some examples. Um, instead of packing perfume, like a perfume bottle, I save all these little magazine strips um, with little perfume samples and I just cut them out and I'll take them with me. They're, they're paper, so they fit really easily in my travel bag. And as a bonus, I've discovered some perfumes I like better than ones I've had from using that technique. Um, if I have to pack any medicines like ibuprofen or um, like I have to pack some probiotics for this trip, I put them all into little Ziplocs, um, just the amount I need, so I don't have the bulky bottles that take up a lot of room. And ladies, I know it's tempting to sometimes want to bring your curling iron and your straightener. You don't need both. Just look at the humidity for where you're going and pick one. Um, and we all know that you can technically curl your hair with a straightener and you can technically straighten your hair with a curler. So don't go overboard. Don't be a diva. Just pick one. <laughs> um, my third tip for you guys is to wear your bulkiest layer. This, again, can be kind of a pain, but... Um, for me, like I'm going skiing this week, so I have winter clothes. I certainly don't want to pack my ski jacket in my suitcase, so I'm going to wear that on the plane. And likely, I if I'm going to bring these winter boots yet, I haven't decided, but if I'm going to bring them, they're, they're heavy. There's no way I'm putting them in my suitcase. I'm going to wear them through the airport. So wear your bulkiest layer. So if that's 
um, dress boots that you have or um, usually tennis shoes if you're traveling to the beach or somewhere warm you have flip-flops don't wear your flip-flops on the plane wear your tennis shoes because then you have less things that you have to put that are going to take up a lot of room in your suitcase so my fourth tip um, is really to invest in good luggage and mainly I would say a good backpack has been so useful for me and any other little accessory bags that you might need for traveling so this backpack was the best investment I ever made it saved me so much trouble when I was going to Europe a lot and I had a ton of stuff with me um, especially when I was carrying like surgical instruments and uh, different work stuff so what I did was all my clothes and shoes would go in my actual roller bag all my work stuff toiletries everything like that would go in this backpack so this is from Toomey. I love Toomey's luggage. It lasts forever. It's so heavy duty, um, like strong handles, just really comfortable straps. So if you have a lot of heavy stuff on your back, that would make it so easy because they're padded. Um, just lots of different pockets. A great piece of luggage. I would tell anybody to get a Toomey backpack. But even if you don't want to get that brand, um, it doesn't have to be specific, but just make sure if, if you're traveling a lot, it's worth spending the money to make the investment for things that are going to make your life easier. Um, this costs about $2. It's super cheap, um, but it's a little tote bag. And I always take this with me because when I'm going to the airport, I'll use it to throw my travel pillow. These travel totes, um, there's... Oh, are we back? I think we paused for a second, but I think we're back. <laughs> um, so anyways, uh, this... This bag, um, it's, my cousin Josh got me. They're these little travel totes. They're squishy so they can be condensed. I'm trying this out for the first time this trip. I think it's, okay, I think we're good. The signal looked like it was cutting out. But anyways, um, so I'm trying this out for, my, for the first time this week. And it's nice because it can help you sort of divide your clothing up into different categories. So like these are my workout clothes. I have my uh, ski clothes in a different bag. So we'll see, that might make things a little easier for sure. So anyways, the point with that tip was just to invest in what's gonna work for you. It's worth spending the extra money if you travel a lot. So my fifth tip, um, this is about staying healthy because we all know that there's so many germs in an airport, um, just anywhere you're traveling, and your body's gonna be stressed, your system's gonna be stressed, so you're not gonna be getting the same amount of sleep, um, you're, you're, not, you're gonna be eating different foods, so to me, like doing what I can to stay healthy when I travel is hugely important. So you guys know I'm always promoting Shakeology. I love these little health packets. Um, I actually have a YouTube video for how to drink Shakeology when you travel. If I'm driving somewhere, sometimes I'll bring a little mini blender, but when I'm traveling, you know, I just bite the bullet and mix it with some cold water and just drink it like that. Huge amount of nutrients in this, so I drink one every day to make sure I stay healthy. And then also Shakeology Boost Power Greens. This thing is just full of dried out greens. So kale, spinach, um, I, I don't have, I don't know all the ingredients off the top of my head, but if you need a way to get some extra greens when you're traveling, this is a great option. You can drink it by, your, by itself or mix it in with your Shakeology or whatever shakes that you drink. It's a nice way to get extra greens because I don't know about you, but when I travel, that is what I'm craving. I'm craving more vegetables. My body wants more of the nutrients because my system's already taxed just from the stress of traveling, um, being exposed to different germs and all kinds of things like that, and then just being off on your sleep schedule. It's important to get those in. So my sixth and final tip for you guys is to um, just put a little extra effort in to make your life easier. So sometimes this requires some pre-planning or some work in advance, but um, so like this is my toiletry bag and it comes already packed with all the stuff I need in it. So I sometimes buy extra stuff like extra makeup, uh, doubles of that, um, that I can just leave packed. I have an extra toothbrush that so just stays packed in this. I have extra contacts in this, stays packed. So when it comes to packing, I don't have to, you know, go and grab all my toiletries. It's just already packed. I can shove this in my bag. So again, just takes a little pre-planning work, but once you're in a system of it, it makes your life so much easier when you travel. Um, packing lists. I'm a big list person, so uh, I've used this so much, it's literally starting, it's separating from the notebook. But this is my main packing list. I run through this anytime I travel, and then I have a separate list for um, international travel, so things that I wouldn't need when I travel domestically, but internationally, you know, you need your passport, 
I take an extra credit card, outlet adapters, things like that. So I have a list for international travel. I have a list for beach travel. I have a list for, I used to go to Deep Creek a lot with my friends. So that's obviously a different set of clothing and stuff that I need than if I'm doing work travel. For work travel, I have a list of just some extra things that I need if I'm gonna travel in any kind of business setting. So having these lists, again, it's a little extra work to make those notes, but it's so helpful that when I go on a trip, I can pull up my list, I can run through it and make sure I have everything. So um, that doesn't necessarily help you condense, but it does help, it, it just takes the worry out of if you have everything. The last thing I will say, if you travel for work a lot or if you're doing work when you travel, um, this Chromebook I love. It's an Acer Chromebook. It doesn't have any hardware on it, but you can use it for email, Facebook. Um, all My whole world of work is pretty much on Facebook, email, and Google Drive, all of which I can access from this. This was $179. I got it on Amazon. I had one prior to this that lasted over three years, um, and I think the only reason it finally croaked was I had dropped it one too many times and had fallen off my bed. Um, but so anyways, it was a no-brainer to get a new one. Uh, not only is this great for work travel because it's super lightweight, I can do all my work on it. It's also a great, this is my coffee shop laptop that I take um, with me just because it's easier than bringing my bigger laptop. So having something like this, it's gonna make your traveling lighter, easier, but you can still do all of your work unless, unfortunately, if you need some sort of software specific to your work, um, obviously that isn't gonna work. But the sixth tip is just to invest in those tools, buy doubles of things, things that are gonna make your life easier, especially if you're traveling a lot because you don't wanna be having to gather that stuff up all up the day before you leave. It's nice that I can just set this stuff aside, have it ready to go when I travel. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I hope those tips helped. If you have questions, post below. I, like I said, I used to travel a ton, so I've just kind of created these little tips of what works best for me. So I hope that was helpful. If you're traveling soon, happy travels, and I'll see you guys soon.